So, for day two on the six-day journey into 2015, I figured we would have a little bit more of an interesting deck profile. I saw that Galactic God post Shadow Priestess of Ohm OTK. Um, a friend of mine, Scott Happel, actually topped the Shonen Jump that that deck was actually a massacre in, and it was uh, Columbus 2008. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and show Scott's deck, um, just as kind of like an equalizer. Uh, so you guys can definitely see some other stuff that existed in that format. Um, Teledad, or not really Teledad, but Return Dad. Um, this was the predecessor to Teledad, or I guess Precessor, well, however you pronounce it. Uh, but it was the build that came first. And with Shadow Priests of Ohm OTK uh, running around, this deck was, I guess, the only other deck that could stand up to it in the format. And it was a crazy time in the game's history. Uh, so today, uh, in the description, uh, the winner for four, yesterday's four packs, um, leave a comment down below um, and subscribe to the channels in the description as well to get entered into today's uh, four packs as well. Um, be giving them out to the same person. Like, so we're splitting up a box over the course of uh, time. So yeah, guys. So... If you guys don't remember, uh, this deck pretty much functioned the same as Teledad, but on a much more devastating scale. Um, pretty much, Disc Commander is your heart and soul of the deck. Um, Dark Arm Dragon loading up, and then you have Dual Returns, and to Escape from the Dark Dimension, um, pretty much as your general OTK pieces. Uh, Dimension Fusion also ensuring that you could OTK your opponent, so really big, massive power pushes here in the form of these three cards. So, the deck. One Dark Magician of Chaos. One Dark Lord Zerato for that field nuking. Triple Dark Arm Dragon. One Jinzo. One Dasher. One Stratos. One Strike Ninja. One Snipe Hunter. Two Armageddon Knight. One Prometheus. Two Fearmonger. One Sangin. One Card Trooper. And two Disc Commander. Um, Strike Ninja was that free removal bit. Same thing with Prometheus. Uh, Triple Lord of Darkness. Massive draw power. Heavy Storm. Dimension Fusion. Two Rota. Triple Destiny Draw, one Monster Reborn, one MST, one Econ, one Premature. The Traps, one Regeki Break, two Return from the Different Dimension, one Mirror Force, one Torrential, one Trap Dust Shoot, and two Escape from the Dark Dimension. Really funky, weird looking lineup when compared to today's um, current meta. Uh, the speed that this deck had and the ferocity that it had to destroy the opponents was insane. Uh, the side deck, one Jinza, two Kinetic Soldiers, two DD Crow, one Vortex, one Brain Control, one Regeki Break, two Wabaku, triple Dust Tornado, and two Solemn Judgment. Um, to kill the Shadow Priestess of Ohm Loop, Dust Tornado, very important key card in doing it, along with Regeki Break. Um, like I said, in a format where Shadow Priestess of Ohm OTK was pretty much unexpected going into Columbus, a lot of people didn't know that the deck existed. Um, so for this deck being the main core um, in competition, um, for people trying to win the event, with this build, or something similar to Return Dead. Uh, the deck did an excellent job at doing what it did um, in the previous format. So this is the first round of Dad that we actually had. Um, this was probably the most devastating one, because I actually played this event. Uh, this event was horrifying. Um, I actually played Gadgets. I did not do good at all. I remember a Gadget deck, I believe, lost in the bubble at this event. Player was actually really decent. Uh, but I remember this event because Teledad was such a massacre. Um, in doing what it was doing here. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this deck. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.